Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the remainder theorem to determine if a given binomial is a factor of a polynomial function. In this case, f of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared minus 28x plus 140, and the binomial that we're looking at is x minus 5 times the square root of 7. This problem looks kind of intimidating. Let's talk about one that's a little easier to follow and then we'll come back to the more complicated problem. For example, what if we had a polynomial function g of x that was equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6? Well, we already know how to factor g of x. It factors into x plus 2 times x plus 3. The binomial x plus 2 for example, is a binomial factor of the polynomial function g of x. Because it's a factor of g of x, if we set x plus 2 equal to 0 and solve for x, giving us x equals negative 2, we know that negative 2 is a 0 of this function. There's a re direct relationship between the fact that x plus 2 is a factor and x equals negative 2 is a 0. In fact, if x minus 5 times the square root of 7 is a factor of f of x, that would mean that whatever number makes this equal 0 would have to make f of x equals 0 as well. In other words, if x minus 5 times the square root of 7 equals 0, or in other words, x is 5 times the square root of 7, that value should make this polynomial equal 0. So let's check. What would f of 5 times the square root of 7 be? It would be 5 times the square root of 7 cubed minus 5 times 5 times the square root of 7 squared minus 28 times 5 times the square root of 7 plus 140. This gives us quite a bit of arithmetic to do, but 5 times the square root of 7, when you cube it, you just cube each part. So we have 125 times 7 square roots of 7 because square root of 7 times square root of 7 times square root of 7 gives us 7 root 7. Up here we're going to square each part of the product 5 times the square root of 7 and we're going to get 5 times 5 squared or 25 which is going to give us 125 and square root of 7 squared is just 7. Up here we can multiply the 28 times the 5 to give us 140 square root of 7. 125 times 7 is 875 root 7 minus 125 times 7 is 875, minus 140 root 7 plus 140. Now we're going to combine the like terms 875 root 7 and negative 140 root 7, which is going to give us 735 root 7. And we're going to combine negative 175 with 140, which is going to give us negative 735. Now, it's not really the quantity that's important here, but remember that the only way that this binomial would be a root or a factor of f of x would be if this value turned out to be 0. And these cannot be combined. They're not even like terms. So this definitely does not equal 0. So the answer is no. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. It helps other students to find the video. 